Good morning, friends. It is November 7th, and it's like gonna be in the high 60s today, which is not the norm here in western upstate New York. Taking advantage of this beautiful day, and we're going to be planting our garlic. Uh, we plant garlic between Halloween and Thanksgiving, so this is the perfect weekend to do it. And being that we are just a few days away from our due date, um, baby could be here any day now. So we are getting on this pretty last minute, and I'm actually having some contractions, some some early labor stuff going on. So. Uh, yeah, it's a fun time to be planting garlic. We have about 400 or so cloves, give or take 100. I didn't count. Um, I just picked the best and the biggest and then stopped after that. So first things first. You ready for this? To yeah. Sit and supervise? <laughs> sit and supervise. I'm probably like a stand and supervise. Walk and supervise. <laughs> Basil, what are you doing? I got this little stick and I'm holding on to it. You playing with sticks? You're such a baby. We're going to be planting the garlic in this bed right here, this very dead bed of tomatoes. Chris is going to clean them up, put them in this gorilla cart here. He's gonna cut them with the shears, put them in this cart, and then we're going to be putting them in trash bags. Nightshade Alley is like a tomb. What is she doing? A tomb for tomatoes now. I know. A graveyard, a tomato graveyard. So many that we didn't get to because of our hospital visit. I met an old man. I said, tell me your story. He took out a note. something for me then he kept walking on. so we cleared the bed of all the tomatoes and eggplant and all that stuff and now it's time to go ahead and plant the garlic so let's go back there and I'll show you what we're doing a handful of garlic or whatever I thought I'd just seen a girl. It doesn't really matter how deep every like four inches or so. Okay. You're back! <laughs> how was your adventure? You took a long time to start meowing. You snuck up on us. You did. <laughs> how was your adventure? <laughs> what are you doing? You're so cute. So if we find any really super, super small ones, don't plant those. Like, yeah, like these two. Okay. Um, see how small these are? Yeah. Don't plant anything that small. Look at these cute paw pads. Cute paw pads? <laughs> They're so multicolored. <laughs> what are you doing, you weirdo? <laughs> She's a little monster. <laughs> Grab your toes. So weird. <laughs> so Chris finished planting the red, what is it, German garlic? The red German garlic? He finished planting it in this first section right here. Now he's going to be planting the, um, I think it's German garlic. And I'm gonna work on planting this garlic I'm about to plant is Regatuso. So Regatuso is a soft neck garlic. So I'm gonna plant about, I think I have about 80 cloves of that. And then um, just a handful of cloves of elephant garlic, which I've never grown before. So let's go ahead and get that started. So these are, these are the elephant garlic cloves, as you can see. 
just completely, completely massive. The rest of this bag in here is all the soft neck garlic. So we're gonna be planting in this section right here. <laughs> Did you read about that somewhere? Chris is trying to get the rooster away and he's got a ridiculous looking posture. He's trying to be an intimidating rooster. <laughs> it's actually quite humorous to watch. <laughs> So we planted, or I planted like 80, 90 cloves in here, and I need to take a break because that was exhausting. Um, Chris is planting the uh, German garlic right now, the white German garlic, and I think we have probably about 250 or so cloves of that. So I think we're in total planting close to 500 cloves this year, which is about 100 more than we did last year. And this year, almost all of it is our own garlic. The only thing I purchased was the regatuso and the elephant garlic. What's going to happen here in these beds is we're going to be putting um, row cover down as soon as early spring comes because of our new leak moth issue. We're going to have to do that for all of our allium, so all of our garlic, all of our onions, and that way we can keep the leak moth from uh, regenerating through the allium crops. And right as I was about to sit down, I got distracted by Brussels sprouts. So I wanna show you guys this massive one. Look how big this one is. I don't know if you can tell. It's pretty large. It's like more than two inches. Lots of sprouts on these plants. Another one right there. Another gorgeous couple over there. Lots of beautiful Brussels sprouts. Well, our garlic is done for the year. Got it all planted. Hi. Um, about 500 or so cloves in the ground. Next up tomorrow, we just have to... Wow. It's not all about you, Piper. We just have to mulch with our rotted hay that comes out of our goat pen. We're gonna do that tomorrow, and then we'll be done, and, and the next thing we have to do is just put the row cover down in the spring. So, yeah, kinda crazy that once that garlic is coming up and once we harvest it, we'll have a, like what, seven month old, eight month old? When it's coming up? In, when we harvest it in July. Uh, okay. Yeah. So crazy. <laughs> Good morning, friends. It's the next day, and I did not go into labor from planting all the garlic. So, still pregnant. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go outside and show you what Chris is working on. I fell asleep on the couch for two hours or so. <laughs> Took a nap right after getting up this morning. So I slept all night and then ate cereal and then fell asleep on the couch for two hours. So Chris started working on doing the mulching. I think he's actually almost done. So let's go take a look and see what he's he's been doing. It's another beautiful day. I'm wearing shorts and it's gonna be 71 degrees and it's November 8th. Crazy. It's like not normal for upstate Western New York. Let's go take a look at what's going on outside. Let's see, it's Paul. <laughs> but warm. So we're at the point right now in the pregnancy where we're like super, super excited to meet our baby and kind of waiting like every day, like is it gonna be today? But at the same time, this weather is so beautiful and whether or not the baby comes today or waits until next week or even the week after, um, we get to enjoy this beautiful weather in the meantime. I think we're supposed to have this beautiful weather until 
Thursday and it's Sunday so we'll have like oh we have like a week of this gorgeous weather to enjoy and we're both working from home because of the coronavirus trying to just enjoy it take it in because um, soon our lives are gonna be very very different and they're never gonna be the same what's up goats so Chris is just pulling hay right out of the goat pen it's got like goat poop and pee and all this stuff in it and we just mulch our garden with it in the fall and winter and by the time we plant in it it's not hot or anything like that yeah it's pretty rich the hay is all organic from our neighbor actually and it's been awesome for our garden for sure for sure so using this hay is actually how we have created our no-till system um, because because the hay sits down in the garden for so many months and breaks down and and feeds the soil it creates like this slow release fertilizer all season long and it loosens the soil over time tremendously so we have a pretty hard soil it also keeps us from having to water so this keeps our soil maintaining moisture really really well in the summer and so any of our mulched garden we don't have to water at all so as you can see, this is the state of the garden. We still have this nice big fall bed that's full of life. We have this bed, which has our artichoke that just keeps wanting to survive. And then everything behind it is um, dead annuals. We've got some Brussels sprouts behind that. Over here, we have some, some kale that we, we feed this kale mostly the bunnies, just the dinosaur kale. And then this is where we planted the garlic yesterday. So you can see it's already all been mulched. Getting it mulched all the way through here. And then we planted some garlic over here, so we're mulching that as well. We've got some Brussels sprouts. We have to figure out what to do about this corn. We need to get it cut down and um, bring the stalks somewhere else to be composted. <sighs> you got coffee on your nose. <laughs> yeah, it gets stuck on this lid, that's why. <laughs> How are you feeling about getting all the garden stuff done? Good. It's nice to get it done on such a beautiful day. Yeah. Yeah. It's been like one of those things that we've had on our list, plant garlic for a while. I know there's always times to, like, even if we don't get all the mulching done, there's always times that come up during the winter when we get to accomplish that still. So I'm yeah. sure we'll get the rest of it done if we don't finish it during this nice spell of temperatures. <sighs> Definitely. Yeah. How are you feeling about a little baby coming? I can't wait for baby to come. <laughs> Just waiting on pins and needles. <laughs> I know every day it's like... I eagerly await to find out how you felt, how you're feeling for the day or how your <laughs> night went. Yeah, I feel very normal right now, yeah. so... <laughs> but I know things are happening and I know it's going to be only a matter of time, so... I said it was exciting to potentially be able to meet baby this weekend and that concept as we were thinking maybe things are moving along but it's also nice to just get the time to get the things done that we were planning on getting done anyways um yeah and not feel as much pressure or not like you're missing out and getting completing tasks yeah i pretty much got everything done except for i have one more thing that i wanted to get done before the baby comes i have a 30 page paper to write for my phd program but if I can get this paper done, I'd feel so relieved. I'll see you guys in the next video. We'll probably be sharing some other videos before we share the video of the baby coming any day now. So keep, keep us in the baby and your prayers and thoughts. And we'll see you guys soon. Stop looking for the answers and you'll find what you've got.